Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Surprise Thursday. In today's surprise, I will be presenting you with the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Star Series Beerus, Lord of Destruction. Thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for supporting this channel. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews and support the channel further. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. And as we always do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's... First of all, take a look at the packaging. This is from Bandai. It's four and up. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that don't belong there. And again, in French, I suppose. On the top, Dragon Star Series on a black mat with glossy black and silver. Deco. Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Star Series, and again, it's all the same matte black with the glossy and the silver, and Beerus, again, in silver. Nice large window showing off Lord Beerus and his piece of Shinron, which I don't have any other pieces. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, made in China print. On this side, nice artwork of Lord Beerus, and on this side, partial window... The paint and Beerus in chrome. Dragon Ball Super Series 1. Dragon Ball S uh, Dragon Star Series. Super Saiyan Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus. And in the whole of the wave, Super Saiyan Goku, Beerus, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Final Form Frieza, and Goku. Comes with, he comes with two pieces. And then here's the completed Shinron kit. Made in China, yada, yada, yada. Advertentia, toy animation, band knife animation, barcode, symbols I don't care about. And that, my friends, covers it for the packaging of Lord Beerus. And now let's take a look at the figure, his accessories, and the other things that came in the box. And first of all, let's take a look at these instructions it shows you the pieces of shinron it shows you how to put it together and it shows you you can put it on a stand so we'll pay attention to the stand see there because that's what comes with lord beerus and here is the stand for shinron Get that over out of the way, and let's see, does it matter how it goes together? Looks like maybe this piece goes here. This piece goes here, maybe. Oh, and y'all can't see any of that. Dear. That's what I get for watching what I'm doing and not watching the camera. So, that appears to be how that goes together. And I'm assuming it just, you know, lays down in there when you have all of the pieces. So... I don't. Chances are I'm not going to get any because I already have some of those figures. Just they didn't come with the pieces. Here's the insert that comes in the box. Could be a nice background. And now let's take a look at the figure himself and his actual accessories. Let's get those handy dandy tweezers out. And then here he has open hand. And a second open hand. So, an open hand 
for each arm. And as you can see, he comes with fists already attached. Um, I would say this figure is nicely decoed all the way around. His arm's a little loose there, but eh. So, a very nice looking Lord of Destruction. Let's take a look at his articulation. He can look up that far. He can look down that far. And of course, does the full exorcist. And I do believe it's on a ball joint in there. That's what it feels like. I can't really see up in there. But it feels like a ball joint. All right, 360 degrees rotation at the shoulder and can come out that far. There is surprisingly no rotation here in the upper bicep or at the elbow, but it's a double hinged elbow. So, and look at that, my God, that's more than almost every single Marvel Legends figure. At his wrist. 360 degrees of rotation and he has up and down or depending on how you move the fist it can be you know but it's still up and down so that's good and on the other arm it's up and down as well um, nothing for ab crunch 360 degrees rotation at the waist. And I think that's on a, is it on a ball joint? It's on a joint of some kind in there. There you can see it. So he can lift, he can go back that far on that. And uh oh, well, I guess we can see it is a, it's a ball joint. So just don't try to go too far forward with it. Uh-oh. Gonna have to use some off-screen force here. And awesome, it popped right back into place. Now, Lord Beerus, being a cat, does have a tail. Twist all the way around. It'll go up some, down some. Around. It's got some tilt in it. It's on a ball joint, so... That is pretty cool. Now his legs are on a drop down joint, kind of like uh, G.I. Joe's, only this one is, you know, it's not as covered up as a G.I. Joe. But there you go, he can kick forward that far with his leg pulled down and that far back and that far forward with it up. At least I said up, it came down and nothing back with it up. Uh, he can do almost the full splits there. Double jointed knee, but he does have these balloony pants. So, he only gets about 90 degrees. So, but that's fine. He's a Lord of Destruction. As far as the ankle goes, it can go down that far. It can go up that far. It's on a ball joint. Uh, it can spin all the way around. And it does have a little bit of rocker. Again, it's on it's on a ball joint. So and then as far as the hands go, they just pop off of that peg and you just Pop the one you want on there. And there we go. There's his Vegeta slap hand. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid saying. Yeah, that arm's really loose. That's kind of disappointing. I've been looking for this guy for a while. So, there we go. A look at Lord Beer...
Lord Beerus, and his accessories. And now it's time for some comparisons and see how he scales up with other lines. And first of all, let's just make him feel super inferior and we'll compare him with a seven inch line. Master of the Universe Revelations Evil Inn. And next we'll use the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Silver Centurion Iron Man. Which this is supposed to be a six inch scale figure. And you can see he skews really small compared to a Marvel Legends. But Marvel Legends skews a little large for six inch also. So here we have the... Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe Classified series. And even though these guys skew a little smaller than Marvel Legends, you can see Lord Beerus is still quite a bit smaller. And here we have Star Wars, the Black Series Elite Squad Trooper. And out of all the Hasbro 6-inch lines, Black Series seems to skew the smallest, and he's still a bit larger than Lord Beerus. Well, that does it for comparisons, my friends. For final thoughts on the Dragon Ball Super... Dragon Star series, Lord Beerus. I'd have to say his size is a little disappointing. I thought he would skew a little larger than what he actually does, but that's okay. Uh, he's still the Lord of Destruction. You can't take that away from him. Um... At about 20 bucks a pop, this is a good uh, a good quality figure that can save you loads of money on like the SH figure arts and those really high end Dragon Ball figures. So I do like the price point. I like everything you get for that price point I think it's a really good value because the paint apps on this guy are are great they're awesome uh, I'm sure somewhere else up in the line it makes up for it a little bit but uh, I mean come on look at all these colors he has on there his eyes the scowl on his face I mean the sculpt on this guy is is pretty good and again for only 20 bucks now, of course, like the unlike the SH figure arts, it doesn't come with a buttload of accessories. You know, he only comes with two extra hands, a Shinron Build-A-Figure piece, and a stand for said Shinron. But, you know, I'm a fan of the show. I'm a fan of this character. And... Like I said, I've been looking for this guy for a while. I actually ran across him at a Walmart for retail of 1996 or whatever it happened to be. But it was it was right around 20 bucks, which is what these guys about retail at. So overall, I'm I'm happy with this figure. That does it for the review. Thanks for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for watching. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you for supporting this channel by watching. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or support the channel further. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. 
That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.